All right, let's dig into our top stories. Talks to break the ESCOM wage deadlock resumes this morning. Unions will be giving feedback on the power utilities offer of a 4.7% pay hike. All parties returned to the negotiating table yesterday after the Minister of Public Enterprises uh, intervened. Uh, but the unions weren't impressed by ESCOM management's behavior. They're accusing the power utility of violating some of the conditions for uh, the new talks. Uh, NUMSA, NUM and Solidarity were riled up by the absence of Group CEO Pagamani Hatebe and uh, other board members. The unions are urging them to attend today's meeting, warning of dire consequences if their call is ignored. NUMSA, NUM, and Solidarity. We have been here since this morning. I must say we have not been happy in that we would have met with the Minister of Public Enterprise, who basically put negotiations back on track. And uh, there were a couple of issues that were agreed upon, which I will not re repeat. I will just state one of those things, that this process that we are in is a very serious process, in that we wanted delegations, both from ESCOM board, ESCOM management, senior leadership of unions to be part of this process. And we define this as powered delegations for the purpose of a better word. And I think we were extremely disappointed by what rather appeared to be ESCOM management and the board not taking this process very serious. There's nothing special about them. We simply want them to be part of a process so that they can enable this process of negotiations to arrive on the resolve of what we're going through.